Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today we will be doing our meal prep video and today I will be meal prepping. Let me give you guys a close up. These I have here two large boneless steaks, beef steaks of course. I've got two of them, Publix had them on sale. Y'all know if I got them. All right, we've got two. This is plenty of meat for the family because they are really big. They were, they were on sale, so. All right, so we've got our two boneless uh, steaks all nice and cleaned up here so you guys have to come back and see what I'm gonna be cooking uh, with this uh, boneless steak all right got it all cleaned I've got my seasons here ready I'll go ahead and what I'm gonna do you guys are gonna see I'm gonna go ahead let me see I'm gonna get a different knife this knife isn't doing what I need it to do so let's switch yeah this is what i need all right switching to a smaller blade all right and i'm just cutting the cord to just you know following my meat all right we got that cut off you guys can see got that cut off all right kind of like a See, I'm just kind of following the meat. There's like a little, a little uh, split here. Cut that up. I'm leaving my fat on. This steak doesn't have much fat on it. So I am leaving the little bit of fat that I have on. I'm leaving that. So definitely gonna leave that so I can have a little juice. Y'all know that fat's gonna help my meat be tender. All right. Okay. All right. So we got it all off. And remember, I said these are boneless. So. All right. So I've got my bowl over here. So I'm gonna be chopping this up into chunks little cube chunks like this. Just give you guys an idea of how I am cutting them. Just little chunks, nothing special. I'm gonna throw it in my bowl. I won't be using a whole bunch of seasons for this recipe, uh, for this meal that I'm doing. Won't be using a lot of seasoning, but you guys will see. I'll show you the seasons that I'll be using, of course, for this particular meal. I love doing meal prep uh, because, you know, I like to take the time out to prep my meals for the family. So I love meal prepping. You know, and you want your food to taste its best. So you prep before you cook. Well, I do. I mean, you know, everybody don't prep. I'm just saying. Everybody has a right to do what they want. If they don't want to meal prep, they don't have to meal prep. But me, it's just the OCD in me. I like to prep. Show you guys again, nice little chunks here that I'm cutting up. And it gotta be all pretty and just cutting your meat up into chunks. However you wanna cut it up. You can cut them small, you can cut them big, however you wanna cut them. But me, I'm kinda cutting them up. I want them to be like, you know, a little bite size. Because, of course, when I cook it, it's going to shrink a little. Right? Okay. 
and I got two of these. Like I said, they're on sale, but they were a really good price. I mean, because on an average for a boneless steak this size, you're going to pay about 25 bucks. But I got them for like $14 each on sale at Publix. Y'all know I love me some Publix. I am a Publix girl. Who don't love Publix? All right, we got that all sliced up. Gonna do our last one, and as you guys can see, how big it is. It's the size of my whole cutting board. That's how big they are. And showing you guys what I mean by cutting it according to the lines makes it easier, you know, for me to cut it up. Yeah, that big knife was not doing it. Easy peasy. And you know what? Um, like I was saying, make sure you guys come back and check out what I'm going to be cooking. Can't watch the meal prep and don't know what the meal is going to be. So, I definitely got something really tasty in mind for this boneless steak that I'm cutting into cubes. So, y'all definitely got to come back and see what it is. Cut it into, I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces. I don't want too big of chunks. You guys can see I'm cutting it in the bowl over here. We should have a nice bowl full of chunks here. And I like leaving the fat on my steak. You know, that's what helps it be all juicy. Helps it stay juicy and stuff. Uh, guys, don't forget to go in the description box, click on that link to my second channel. I do have two YouTube channels. My second channel is my spiritual journey channel over there. Over there, I'm just talking about my life as a Christian living for God. Just talking about some things I go through in life and just sharing my spiritual journey with you guys. If you are interested in that, the link is in the description box. Just click right on that link. I've got it so easy for you to click on that link and you'll go right over to my channel. And um, you can go over there and subscribe and show me some love and support over there as well. Nothing like a good old meal prep. I love prepping my meals. I love prepping especially my meats. Uh, letting that season sink, uh, sit on them all night and soak in. Letting the meat uh, soak in all that goodness with your, the seasons you put on it. Helps make the meal better. When your meat soaks in all those good seasons you put on it. One thing I don't do, you know, I don't over season. And I know a lot of times we can get happy with that seasoning. But look at that nice piece of steak like that. Throw that on the grill. But um, yeah. I don't like over seasoning. You know putting too much season on the meat. I know sometimes we can get a little heavy handed with the season. I definitely try not to do that. With me and the girls. You know. Don't want to do too much with the salt. Don't want to have any high blood pressure issues. So. Yeah, that looks so good. This meal is going to be so good. I'm telling you, y'all got to come back. I'm already thinking about what I'm going to cook. And it's going to be so good what I'm going to cook. So, all right, let me move my cutting board, get my steak in the middle here. Let me move my, actually, I'm going to need my knife. So, all right, giving you guys a good close-up look at our boneless steak all cubed up. I am taking the point of the knife 
and I'm gonna stab my meat to help tenderize it, of course. It's steak, so I like, you guys know I always tenderize my meat anyway. I'm always poking my meat with forks and stuff. But since I have this knife here, I'm definitely gonna use this knife. Just, you know, kind of stab it, you know, tenderize it a little bit there. Be careful, be careful with these sharp knives. Okay. Move my meat around here. Mix it up so I can get that meat at the bottom all nicely tenderized. Okay. You know, just kind of stab around in your bowl. Tenderizing our meat. A little quick way of doing it. You learn all little, all kind of little secrets when you're cooking. Little tricks that you can do to make it easier on yourself. Alright, we've done enough. Let me wash my hands real quick. I'm going to come back. I'm going to season this meat up. Okay. Alright, so we got our meat all cubed up. You guys see? Okay, for our seasonings, uh, I have a little bit of the McCormick Montreal steak seasoning left. Only have a little bit left. So, you guys can see I only have a little bit left in there. We're putting all that in there anyway. I thought I had more steak seasoning than that, but that's fine. Alright, and we're going to put some salt. Uh, now, this is an uh, old seasoning thing that I'm using. And I just put, you know, rope salt on it. Y'all know. Y'all know how we do. It's salt. Sprinkling some salt in there. Don't want to do too much. All right, we've got our black pepper grinder, grind pepper. This is by Old Thompson. Ground pepper in there. Getting a nice amount of ground pepper in there. Don't want to do too much because we don't want to over season the steak. All right. And next, I have some Great Value Walmart garlic powder. Just going to sprinkle some in there. Across the top like that. Don't want to do too much. And I have the Abadia Complete Seasoning. We're going to sprinkle some of that because you got to have it complete. got to have that. Sprinkle a little bit of that across there. And last but not least, this is a seasoning salt. This is like a, just like a complete seasoning I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to sprinkle some of that across the top. Okay, good enough. Don't want to do too much. Don't want to do too much. And I'm going to just take my hand and just mix it all in there. And this is going to take a minute because I want to make sure the seasons get mixed up real good. All my meat is going to get some seasoning. Getting that meat from the bottom, bringing it to the top. You know. And as I'm doing this, I'm massaging the seasoning into the meat. I'm not going to put any oil on this. You guys will see. I'm not adding oil to this right now. When I cook it, of course, you guys will see. But I'm not going to add any oil to this because this boneless steak it's got its own oil like own juiciness to it already you guys can see you guys can see that it's, it's got its own oil own moisturizer to it moisturizer it doesn't need any oil right now you guys will see later when I add how I cook it so make sure you guys like I said make sure you guys come back and check out what I'll be cooking with this boneless steak cubed up. Nice piece with a piece of fat on it. That's going to be good. So, all right, we got it all mixed up nicely there. Okay. All right. That's it. That's all. Let me give you guys a close up look at that meat all nicely seasoned. Doesn't that look good? Yep. And that's going to go in the refrigerator overnight. I'll be cooking it tomorrow. All right, guys. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Uh, nice, quick, easy meal prep. 
My meal preps usually don't take that long. My meal preps take about 10 or 15 minutes. It does not take long for me to prep my meat, you know. So, you know, it doesn't, doesn't take long to prep your meat, prep your meals. What was that? Maybe 10, 15 minutes we just did. So, all right, guys. Uh, once again, this is a uh, boneless steak. Uh, boneless beef steak, of course. Uh, I will be back. I will be doing the cooking video tomorrow. I'll record it, of course, so you guys can see what it is that um, I'm going to be cooking. So make sure you come back and check out the video, guys. All right. This is Arika Misha. Thanks for watching. Bye.